How's it going, everybody? Today I thought maybe we would play some Kabraken. And we're up against a Loki. Which means I have to use the Fat Loki skin. Gotta be Fat Loki versus regular Loki. This is the this is the true way to play. And we're we're not gonna go easy either. We're gonna go Bumpus Hammer. <laughs> Cause why not? So in order to go Bumba's Hammer on Kabrakens, very similar to uh, the other Guardians that uh, Bumba's Hammer is good on, such as Kuzumbo, start tier 2 Bancrofts. Uh, could even go Book of Thoth if you're feeling like spicy. Uh, I might go one later on. And we will need some survivability, so either a Shell or a Blink if we're feeling aggressive. Um, I think I'll go a Blink. I can't imagine Loki will have a fun time fighting me. If he gets ahead and I have Blink, that will really suck, but we'll see. Obviously, he can't predict the future, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that this goes in Kabraken's favor, but we'll see. I'm actually going to start blue buff as well, because Kabraken's early game mana consumption is way too high. So he is one of the gods that I prefer to start blue buff if I can. I don't always, but okay, he's on red buff, which I'm okay with. I don't mind giving up red buff here. Looks like he's going Bumbus Hammer too. So it'll be whoever's Bumbus is better, I think. I mean, yeah, on Loki's pretty damn good later on. I'm gonna take a huge amount of damage here, but that's all right. Let's make sure he doesn't take blue buff. Uh, I didn't blink right away because I didn't think he would take it that fast, if I'm being honest. If I had blinked right away, I would have stolen that, but I thought it would take a little bit longer, but I forgot the Bumbus, uh, you know, Bumbus Dagger would have given him extra clear. So that's bad, because now he has two buffs, which is which is okay, but um, the more buffs he gets, uh, the, more, the easier it's going to be for him to get ahead. Especially with that Bumbus Dagger, since he can take it so fast. Glad I have blue buff right now because I'm able to just kind of stay. Also, I'm starting defense is weird. Like, I, I almost never see that from assassins. Well, I guess it depends on the assassin. Okay, I do have to back up because if I go and kill those archers, he will ult me over the wall and then kill me. All right. Um... Should be fine to back here. I will wait for 50 gold in base for Bancrofts. And then after Bancrofts, uh, we should consider what defense we want. And maybe an Emperor's Armors. Could be good. Breastplate is just fine too. Breastplate would give me mana in case I do go book both. And also um, it would get me max cooldown right away when I get Bumpus Hammer. I will be slightly overcapped when I get Power Potion. But that's always okay. It's just something to think about. But Emperor's Armor is awesome. People don't build it enough. Especially against, I don't know, a Loki. Where, like, I'm going to be diving him and he's going to be diving me. Like, I, I feel like it's a good idea. Oh, I have a huge power spike with his Bumbos. Now, normally I would ult here, but there's no use when his ult's up. Trading ult for ult's not great. Also, I had a backup in case he decided to stun me in tower. Like here, I might want to go for him. Nah, he has enough for one ability. Nah, that's enough to stu to alt and stun me. Oh, whoops! I don't have one arch in range. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Okay, let's back up. And you know what? I am gonna go emperors. It gives health too, which is awesome. Pretty soon, I'm gonna start leveling up my three. Leveling up my three is amazing against melee characters. So we're gonna do that. Now we want to start taking red buff and stuff like that. Did hear him, so I don't want him to steal it, of course. He's most likely going to ult out. There we go. We could kill him with blink, probably. Or take red buff. Take red buff safer, because then I get both red buff and my blue buff. 
Plus with minions coming and all that. Now he's probably recalled and he's at his blue buff now. So, I mean, I could go for that, but with the amount of mana I have, it's not worth it. It's just better to take my own. Plus also remember that in Smite, I think for duel, uh, but especially I know it for 100% for conquest, I'm pretty sure for duel too. No, I, I, I pretty, yeah, I'm pretty certain um, that if you take camps on your opponent's side, it's worth half scaling up to the full amount to 10 minutes. So if I take his blue buff, uh, that's great because it takes away XP and gold from him, but I actually don't get as much XP and gold as if I were to take my own blue buff. So it depends on how you're playing, right? Like if it's, if you can take it, you take it, but if it's going to be close, then I feel like it's better just to take your blue buff. Because if you barely take their blue and then they just go and take your blue, then I mean, it's the same thing, right? But less risky. I could totally be saving my abilities to cancel his ability. That's what I should be doing. Also, I think his ultimate's still down. I use way too much mana there. Yeah, I think I'll go Book of Thoth. I'll go after Emperor's Armor. I think it'll be fine. Plus, I don't, all those items work amazing on Kabrakin. Like, uh, Book of Thoth, Soul Reaver, Polynomicon, all of them are amazing, so... It's completely worth it. It is worth to get one ward at this point to just put on Demon King because he can burst it down super fast. He is going to tier one items. This is how you build in League of Legends, or at least used to. <laughs> I used to play League of Legends a long time ago. I left because it was a super toxic game, but I actually really enjoyed League of Legends, won't lie. Like, I didn't play it too much, but I did, I did enjoy it, but... The toxicity was just too much for me. I'd always play Zillion. People would BM me because he was apparently bad. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ulting him wouldn't have killed yet. Would have barely not killed. This Emperor's armor is giving me a huge amount of pressure here, actually. Because he has to wait to clear the wave. The tower is actually not going to clear it. Now, one weird thing about Emperor's and Duel is, of course, if I'm aggressing... Hold on. Let me hold that thought. I have no mana. So I'm just going to have to clear the wave and leave, I think. Oh, he's, he's probably went for red buff, most likely, right? The old switch around? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. I don't have enough mana to kind of go for his blue, so I'll just go for mine. That was my mistake. But what my mindset... What was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about Emperor's Armor. The weird thing about it in Duel is, of course, the downside is if you're aggressing a lot for while you're in their Tower of Phoenix or whatever, that's less minions they're losing to Tower because every time the Tower tags them, they don't get any gold from those minions. So it's kind of bad like that, but it's okay. I think it's worth it for the, pre the amount of pressure you can get. Your middle tower is under attack. Both, uh, both of, uh, offensively and defensively. That's pretty good. I'm maxing my three because it actually has insane scaling. Damage wise. Like if I get next to him and he doesn't have anything and I just use it. That's a huge amount of damage. Surprised uh, no one has that yet. Nope. No kills. I had an opportunity for a kill, but I didn't go for it. Oh, you know what I just realized? This skin has a special emote, and people probably are... the long, Now that they start playing Spite, they're going to be like, what the heck is this emote, right? But the, this emote is Loki's old too. He used to place a decoy that would do this. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that's not in the game anymore. Okay, I mean, he's just gonna go clear that way. I'm okay with that. Yeah, 
I could just I could just sit in this. I just sit in this 100 <laughs> percent I will not die like that. Not easily anyways. We got tower here, thanks to Emperors. I used to pronounce the item Emperors, and that was just completely wrong. I don't know why. I have no clue. Okay. Now we're going to back up again. We're going to get Book of Thoth. And now we're going to get... We'll save for a second relic. If he's got a blink, I mean... Honestly, a sh uh, Thorns would be really good. An Aegis is good. A Shell is good. Anything that prevents him from just ulting me and then one-shotting me. Even though I'm a Guardian, uh, Loki can very much still do that. I'm going to start putting more points in my one as well. Let's go take Red Buff. I mean, I just, you shouldn't be able to take this, right? No. And now your ultimate is down, my dude. Dang, I don't have enough damage. Hold on. No use blinking unless I know I can go for him. I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not dead. What? What? There's no way I live that. There's no way I live that. What? <laughs> I was just about to say I might as well have not canceled by three to try to kill some minions since I'm going to die anyways. But no. What? That's insane. I've had so many times I've died to tower where I definitely shouldn't have. And I feel, I feel, I feel like I cheated death there. Oh, we could go Sunder. Well, let's wait for his relic. Now, as Kabrakken, I'm actually not afraid of him getting horrific. That actually doesn't bother me because I'm so immune to my one. Um, like a, you know, a lot of my times in my videos, you'll see that I hold on to my relic because I want to make sure my opponent doesn't get horrific. That way I can get sprint in case they do or whatever, right? Um, but in this situation, if he gets horrific, it's I, I don't care at all. It, that does not bother me. However, I might want to get a horrific, although he's so immune to his one too, so I don't know. I don't really know why I'm waiting for my relic. I think I should just pick up the thorns and be done with it. However, a Sunder would be kind of fun. I think that's what he's waiting for. To see if I get Shell and then he's going to get Sunder or something like that. I I'm not sure. I mean, if he gets Shell and I get Sunder, that would be pretty nice. Okay, yeah, he's going to be kind of doing that for a while. Once I get Polly, I can start going for Demon King. Now, I don't know if he recalled or if he's going to try to proxy my wave. Looks like... Oh, I could have picked up blue buff. Whoops. That's okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit annoying now. By a little bit, I mean a lot of it. All right, let's get Polly. Looks like he is getting double defense. And I... I don't know. I mean, I feel like I should still wait on the relic. A Brace of Radiance would be kind of fun. Just because it would give me more power for, like, Polydomicon. <laughs> and more movement speed if I need to run away or chase him at low health. The only downside to this build is I have very little cooldown. I need to get something with... At least 10% cooldown. That way I have max cooldown once I'm full build. Oh, whoops, this is coming up. What am I doing? Taking buffs on cooldown is super important. Yeah, that does like no damage to me. This build's very lackluster. Done him out of that, just holding out my three. Again, that can just do a huge amount of damage. No use ulting him, he'll just ult out. So let's see if we can somehow get him first. 
Oh my goodness, no. Now, I actually have two minions here <laughs> that I could push into his Phoenix. Oh, but he's here already? What? Oh, he ulted. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I did go kind of far into Phoenix. I was just going to clear the wave back up and then go in with the two minions. Because I didn't want my two minions to die before going in the Phoenix range. And I didn't think he would kill me that fast. I guess he did uh, buy another item. Let's see, what do I want to build? Ooh, Doom Orb would be kind of amazing, but I kind of need penetration right now. Um, let's see. Spear of the Magus. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Staff of Bearded Kabrakid would be hilarious. I, I got to try it. I got to try that. I'm also going to go Thorns. Again, I'm a magical god, and Thorns does magical damage, and he's going to mitigate it with his protections, but it's not really that big of a deal. Also, him taking Demon King is not that big of a deal. I still have tower. I just kind of got to babysit my tower now. Just stay close to it. I mean, I guess, I, I mean, if he wants to trade my tower for his Phoenix, I'll do that as well. So it's really up to him. Like, if he tries to backdoor my tower, I'm okay with it if I have minions. Although I think he did that mostly just to prevent me from uh, taking it. Can do a little bit of damage. I actually didn't get the poly shot there. Whoops. My buff's almost up. Could go Typhons too for a little bit of extra pen. Yeah, you got you got uh shell. Oh, damn, he's actually doing quite a bit of damage now. Damn, couldn't get my poly shot off. That's okay. It's kind of bad, but I mean, it's all right. He should 100% be pushing for my tower right now. Um, and he should be able to get it. It's pretty damn late into the game. Staff of Bearden, by the way, I don't think it's a great item currently. <laughs> um, I just think it's something fun that I want to try with Bumpus Hammer. Like, I think with Bumpus Hammer on Kabrakin combined with it, if I go one, two, three, and then cancel my three auto, um, it could be awesome. He did not take my tower. That's insane, Loki. How do you expect to win if you're not going to take my tower? Okay, I also need to save up for Bumbas. I'm a little bit late on that. I was supposed to start saving at level 18, but that's okay. I should have, I should be able to get enough. Well, no, it's going to cost a little bit. I'm going to be level 20 for a little bit longer. It's kind of annoying that he can do that. I know I'm near him because of Pestilence. It's, it's a funny way to chase Loki to know if you're going the right way or not. It's to look at the debuff bar while he's invisible. So yeah, no, I thought he turned around and he didn't. He doesn't want to fight me, that's fine. He's going to go for my blue, I'll go for his blue. Doesn't really make a difference right now. The problem is he's going to get Bumpus Hammer before me, and then that's when he's going to want to fight. Yeah, fighting Loki's annoying, but it's not that. It's not too bad. 
I've never really built uh, Seth Maiden too often. Very rarely have I. Yeah, okay, so he's going to have Bumpus Armor. I am not. I'd be surprised if he goes Bumpus Spear, but I guess anything's possible. Also, I need to be placing these wards. Holy moly, I have not been placing them. Then again, he hasn't really been, like, he went for Demon King once, one time. And that was when I was, you know, coming back from base or whatever. Reveal my foes to me, will you? Damn, <laughs> all my cooldowns were down, so I'm not even getting the Staff of Bearded benefit. I say we go for Demon King right now. He's got a recall. And I'm full health of mana. Now, if he clears that wave, it could be problematic. Well, holding on to my three might be better than using my other abilities. Oh, damn it. Oh, he stole it. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I... What? I got stuck on the wall. I couldn't blink. That was weird. Did he just taunt me, by the way? All right. Uh, should have just stayed in the three the first time? I don't think the damage I got for my one, two plus poly was worth it. Your middle tower is under attack. The damage I would have got from just holding on my three? Yeah, look at that. It would have been just way higher. Well, that sucks. Oh, he's really going for it, huh? There we go. Oh, uh, both of our Bumbus Hammers are strong. But I think his is stronger with his stupid uh, double defense plus his... Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Plus his ultimate. His ultimate's way better than mine right now. Like, I mean, you saw that was a fight without his ultimate, and he almost killed me. So I, I got to trade things out for a more serious build. The the, <laughs> the Staff of Bearded did, doesn't even feel like it's doing anything, to be completely honest. It's just awful. All right. So let's swap that for either a Typhons. I know he has anti-heal, but give me... I mean, look how much power it gives me versus and that's also not when I'm at low health when I'm at low health when I'm at low health right now I get so much power I think it's worth it I think it's fine that he is anti-heal in this specific matchup I mean not all matchups would I do this problem now is of course you can just go for my uh oh there you are Last game. GG's man. Learning from your defeats is more I should I should have taken this Loki more seriously. I, I drastically underestimated him. That's okay. GG's. Um uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Um I haven't played Kabrak in a while. I gotta play him some more. And uh yeah, I'll, I will let me know if you guys have any gods you want me to play or anything like that. Um, here's the final builds. I'll make sure to show the final stats in the lobby and all that good stuff. But uh, I hope you guys have a have a good day. But let's go look at the stats real quick. Here they are. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.